The king requests your presence, heroes. The king certainly knew how to show his support. A group of twelve strangers, all dressed as though they were about to embark on an adventure of their own. There were knights among them. We all bowed to the king and settled in to listen to his proposal. As we discussed yesterday, I have called for others to assist you on your journey. Apparently, my call did not go unheeded. Now then, gathered adventurers, please choose the legendary hero with whom you will travel with. Wait, so they got to choose? Though, when I think about it, it only makes sense. We all came from another world, so what did we know about our journey? Better to let the experienced citizens make the decision. Five people stood before Ren. Four people stood before Moriyasu. Three people stood before Itsuki. And before me? <laughs> yeah. Zero. But sir, how can this be? It's so unfair. I did not anticipate anything like this. <sighs> He's not very popular, is he? So there are rumors? Um, what is it? It seems that people are whispering around the castle. They are saying that among the four heroes, the shield hero does not know very much about our world. What? How could they do this to me, here, in a completely new world? The legends say that the four summoned heroes will have an understanding of our land. People are wondering if you will truly be able to fulfill the conditions set out in the legends. I guess someone was eavesdropping on us last night. He meant our conversation about games. They were leaving me on my own because I hadn't heard of a game? Besides, what kind of a legend was this anyway? I might not know much about their kingdom, but I was still the shield hero. For whatever reason, according to the other guys, I was stuck with the most useless class. But this wasn't a game to begin with. Ren, you can't even use five people. Let's share. I'm more of a loner myself. So if you can't cut it, I'm leaving you behind. <sighs> Moriyasu, big bro. What do you think of this? Isn't it horrible? Um, well... By the way, I'd like to point out that there was not a single man among the adventurers with Moriyasu. It looked like he was setting up a brothel or something. Well, I don't want to be biased here, but, uh, I suppose it would be fair to split them evenly, with each of us getting three. But then again, it's not gentlemanly to deny them once they've made their decision. You mean I need to go it alone? I was stuck with the shield! They were the ones who said that it was the worst class. If I don't have a party to travel with, how was I supposed to get stronger? Sir, if it please you, I could serve with the shield hero. Him? Are you sure? Yes. She was cute. And a shoulder length red hair. Her face was pretty too. She was relatively tall, just a little shorter than me. Are there any others who would throw in your lot with Mr. Neofumi? I suppose there is no way around it. Mr. Neofumi, you'll have to recruit others to accompany you while you are traveling. Each month, I will supply all of you with the necessary funds for your journey. Though in compensation for today's events, Neofumi's first payment will be higher than the others. Y yes sir it seemed like a fair resolution. If no one wanted to work with me voluntarily, I would have to find people to help me. Now then, heroes, I have set aside these funds for you. Please accept them. I have set aside 800 pieces of silver for Mr. Neofumi and 600 pieces for the rest of you. Please take these funds and begin your journey. Yes, sir! Um, so it's nice to meet you, Mr. Shield Hero. My name is Mine Sufia. Pleasure. She didn't seem to be very shy, and she spoke without reservation. With all that was going on, I suppose I forgot to mention that she was the girl who agreed to come with me. 
I believe in taking care of your friends. Especially considering that, according to everyone I'd met so far, I had been dealt a losing hand. On top of it all, mine was a girl, and I was the shield hero. It would be up to me to protect her. Very well then. Let's get going, shall we? Miss Mine. <laughs> There's a drawbridge strung between the castle and the town. Crossing it, I got my first view of the town. Hmm. Granted, I got a little glimpse of it from the window last night. But standing there, now, in the middle of it all, it really started to feel like I'd come to a different world. The cobblestone streets were lined with stone buildings, many of which were furnished with wooden signs. There were delicious smells wafting from many directions at once. What should we do? I think we would be wise to try and get some better equipment and armor. Mm -hmm. Good idea. With all the money the king gave us, we should be able to get some real quality stuff. The only equipment I had was a shield, so procuring a weapon was of paramount importance. Without one, I wouldn't stand a chance against any monsters. I wouldn't even be much use to my teammates without one. Regardless, the other heroes all had weapons that would level up with them. If I didn't hit the ground running, they'd overtake me in no time. Considering all they'd gone through to summon me here, it didn't seem right to slack off. And besides, even if I was stuck with a weak class, mine had still teamed up with me. I needed to do what I could, for her sake. Well, I know a good store if you're ready to go. Um, I am. Great! Weapons are important, but all you really need are friends. Mine led me down a path to the weapons store she knew. She walked as if she was skipping. <laughs> We'd been walking away from the castle for a fair amount of time when Mine finally slowed her pace and stopped before a shop. There was a large sign in the shape of a sword uh, hanging over the wooden door. This is the shop I was talking about. Wow. Welcome. The owner <laughs> was exactly the sort of guy you picture when you think of a weapon shop. He was leaning on the counter, and the whole scene felt like a painting. I was relieved, as I was fearing a fat, pudgy type of owner. So this is a weapon shop. I see this is your first time in one. Well, you sure know how to pick them. Actually, my companion here uh, told me about your shop. Or store. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Uh, why, thank you very much, uh, miss. Hey, haven't we met somewhere? I've been here before, sir. Also, your shop is very well known around here. <laughs> well, isn't that kind of you? By the way, if I may ask, who is this strangely dressed friend of yours? I guess that only made sense. In this other world... They would think my clothes looked strange. I probably looked like a bumpkin touring the kingdom. Or just a crazy person. I think you already know the answer to that, sir. Oh, you mean, you're one of the... the heroes? Wow! Uh, he doesn't really look that strong. <laughs> tell... tell me how you really feel. Jeez. But the old guy was right. I really didn't look like I would do anyone much good. That's why I needed to get stronger. Listen up, hero boy. If you don't get yourself some decent equipment, the other adventurers will wipe the floor with you. I suppose. Hmm. I kind of like the guy. He seemed honest. Hmm. Looks like you got the short stick. My face twitched in recognition. How did gossip spread this quickly? <sighs> Whatever. I should admit loss before I even got going. I am the shield hero. You a tiny now for me. Things might get rough from here on out, so I've come for your assistance. Uh, Mr. Uh, Naofumi, was it? Well then, here's to hoping you become a regular of sorts around here. Let's see what we can do. He was an amicable guy, to be sure. Hey, sir, don't you have any good equipment from my friend here? I'm sure that I do, but uh, how's your budget looking? Well, um, we could probably spend up to... 250 pieces? Wow, that much, huh? Well, then, uh, you should start looking over here. We only had 800 to start with, and we were preparing to spend 250 on equipment. Was that going to leave enough for inns and food, and for recruiting other party members? 
Tell me, kid, you have a favorite kind of weapon? <sighs> Not yet. Well, if so, I'd recommend a sword that's light enough for beginners. All of these are coated with blood clean, so they're pretty easy to handle. Blood clean? Gore and blood on a blade will erode the edge, making upkeep more difficult. These swords don't have that problem. Wow. I was surprised. But thinking on it for a minute, I realized that, even in my own world, people spoke of knives losing their edge after cutting through meat. I suppose he meant that these swords would stay sharp for a long time. I stared at the swords for a short time. They were much higher quality than any of the replica swords I'd seen before. They looked like serious weapons. Those are, in order, iron, magic iron, magic steel, and silver iron. They get more expensive as they go, but the increase in quality is tremendous. There are also weapons of higher quality, but uh, in the 250 range, this is really what you've got to pick from. I'd heard of things like this before. It was just like a video game. How the weapon shop in the first town does have very good weapons available. This shop, however, seemed to have a really wide variety. That made it more like an online game. But then again, this wasn't a game. In the real world, in any world, the weapon shops in the capital were sure to have good materials available. Right? Hmm. An iron sword. Hmm. Sure enough, it was very heavy. The shield I carried was so light that I took a little notice of it. But these weapons had significant heft. I'd have to use them to fight any monsters we encountered. Whoa! Huh? Huh? The shop owner and mine were both looking at me, and then at the sword where it lay. I reached for the sword again, assuming I dropped it. It sat in my hand as if nothing strange had happened at all. Just what was that? Out! What was going on? I glared at the owner, thinking he must have been up to something. But he shook his head. I didn't think that mine would want to interfere with me. But just to be safe, I looked over at her as well. It looked like it just flew out of your hand. But it couldn't be. It just couldn't. I stared at my own palm for a moment. As I did, words began to appear in my periphery. Legendary Weapon Specification A weapon besides the assigned equipment was held, violating the rule. What the hell? Found it! The heroes may not hold a weapon aside from their assigned legendary weapon with the intent to fight with it. What? Was that supposed to mean I couldn't use anything other than a shield in battle? What kind of crappy game only let you fight with a shield? <sighs> well, it looks like I'm only allowed to use a shield. Huh, but why? Can you, uh, let me see that? A small ball of light oh, shot towards my shield, just only to right bounce here. off harmlessly. Well, uh, it certainly looks like a normal small shield, but, uh, it behaves. Oh, do you know it? The shield was also a small shield on my status screen, with legendary weapon added in parentheses to the side. You see this jewel lodged in the center of the shield? I feel a great amount of energy emanating from it. I tried looking into it with my appraisal magic, but was unable to glean any information. If it was somehow cursed, I should have known that instantly. Well, you've certainly shown me something interesting. I guess you'll be wanting some defensive goods? Yes, please. I'd like to give you what I can do for 250, which probably means a suit of armor. Full plate armor tends to inhibit your movement, so it's not well suited to adventuring. Regardless, chainmail is better for a beginner anyway. Chainmail raises defensive power. Use slice resistance. Small. Uh huh. Huh. No information came up when I touched the swords. Because I was unable to equip them. How much does this cost? Yeah, I'll give you a discount. You can have it for 120. What could we get for it? Hmm. I suppose you could get a hundred or so. Hmm. Why is that? I was asking because if the shield hero outgrows it, we could probably sell it back. I, I was starting to understand. I was still at level one. So as I leveled up, I would be able to equip better things, 
meaning this chainmail wouldn't necessarily be useful for all that long. It looked like the shop had better armor available, but that was about the best I could do at my current level. All right then, we'll take it. Thank you very much. I'll throw in some inner wear to show my gratitude. Thank, Thank you. you! Will you uh, change into that here? Yes. Very well, right over there. Hey, hey, now! You're starting to look the part, lad. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right then, hero. Shall we be off to battle? Righto! I was starting to feel like a real adventurer when mine and I left the shop. We made our way back to the castle and entered through the main gate. On our way through, a knight bent his head to me, so I waved back in response. <laughs> I was feeling good. <sighs> How exciting! My adventure was finally beginning.